Welcome to this video on breastfeeding techniques for newborn babies. Breastfeeding is a natural and healthy way to provide nourishment to your newborn, and it can also be a special bonding experience between mother and baby. In this video, we will go over some important tips and techniques to make breastfeeding a comfortable and successful experience for both you and your baby. Before we begin, Let's talk about some preparations you can make to ensure a smooth breastfeeding experience. First, find a comfortable and quiet place to breastfeed your baby. This can be a cozy chair or couch, or a quiet room where you won't be disturbed. Make sure you have a glass of water nearby, as breastfeeding can make you thirsty. You may also want to use a nursing pillow or a rolled-up towel to support your baby and help you maintain a comfortable position. Now let's talk about positioning. Proper breastfeeding positioning is important for a successful breastfeeding experience. Hold your baby close to you with their head and body in a straight line. Their mouth should be level with your nipple. Use one hand to support your baby's head and neck and the other to support your breast. Make sure your baby's lips are flanged out and covering a good portion of your areola. This will ensure that your baby is latched on correctly and is able to get enough milk. Now let's talk about latching. A good latch is crucial for successful breastfeeding. You can help your baby latch on by gently stroking their cheek or lower lip with your nipple. This will encourage them to open their mouth wide. When your baby's mouth is open wide, bring them towards your breast so that their lower lip touches the base of your nipple. As your baby latches on, you should feel a slight tug, but breastfeeding should not be painful. If you experience any pain or discomfort, gently break the suction by inserting your finger into the corner of your baby's mouth and try again. Now that your baby is latched on correctly, let's talk about feeding. Breastfeeding is a supply and demand process, which means that the more your baby feeds, the more milk your body will produce. During the first few days after birth, your baby will feed frequently and may only take a small amount of milk at each feeding. This is normal and will help to establish your milk supply. As your baby grows, they may take longer feedings and feed less frequently. After your baby has finished feeding, it's important to burp them to release any trapped air. Hold your baby upright against your shoulder or on your lap, supporting their head and neck. Gently pat or rub their back until they burp. If your baby doesn't burp after a few minutes, it's okay to continue with your day. Breastfeeding in public is a natural and legal right. However, some mothers may feel uncomfortable breastfeeding in public or worry about how others will react. If you feel uncomfortable breastfeeding in public, try using a nursing cover or finding a private place to breastfeed. Remember, it's important to prioritize your baby's nutrition and comfort over other people's opinions. In addition to the basic breastfeeding techniques we've discussed, there are some additional techniques that can help make breastfeeding easier and more comfortable for new moms. Let's take a look at some of these techniques. The sideline position can be a comfortable way to breastfeed your baby, especially if you're recovering from a vaginal birth. Lie on your side with your baby facing you, and use a nursing pillow or rolled up towel to support your baby and help them latch on. To use the cradle hold position, sit comfortably with your back supported and your feet flat on the ground. Hold your baby in the crook of your arm, with their head resting in the bend of your elbow. Use your other hand to support your breast and guide your baby to your nipple. Make sure your baby's nose is level with your nipple and their mouth is wide open before they latch on. You can use a nursing pillow to help support your baby if needed. To use the sideline position, lie on your side with your baby facing you. Use a nursing pillow or rolled up towel to support your baby and help them latch on. This position can be especially helpful if you're recovering from a vaginal birth or if you're feeling tired. To use the cross cradle position, sit comfortably with your back supported and your feet flat on the ground. 
Hold your baby in the opposite arm from the breast you'll be feeding on. Use your other hand to support your breast and guide your baby to your nipple. Make sure your baby's nose is level with your nipple and their mouth is wide open before they latch on. This position can be helpful if you're having trouble getting your baby to latch on correctly. To use the football hold position, sit comfortably with your back supported and your feet flat on the ground. Hold your baby under your arm, with their head facing your breast. Use your hand to support your baby's neck and back. This position can be helpful if you've had a C-section or if you have large breasts. Biological Nurturing Position The biological nurturing position is a technique that mimics the way a baby naturally breastfeeds. To use this position, lie back comfortably and recline slightly. Place your baby on your chest, with their body facing yours and their head turned to the side. Your baby will naturally move towards your breast and latch on. It's important to switch sides during feedings to ensure that both breasts are emptied and your milk supply stays balanced. You can switch sides after each feeding or halfway through a feeding if your baby is still hungry. Breast compression is a technique that can help your baby get more milk and can also help to relieve engorgement. Use your hand to compress your breast while your baby is feeding, and release the compression when your baby stops sucking. By using these additional techniques, you can make breastfeeding more comfortable and successful for both you and your baby. While breastfeeding is a natural and healthy way to nourish your baby, it can also come with some challenges. Let's discuss some common challenges you may face and how to address them. Sore nipples. Sore nipples can occur when your baby is not latched on correctly or is not sucking properly. To prevent sore nipples, make sure your baby is latched on correctly and adjust their position if necessary. You can also try applying lanolin cream to your nipples after feedings to soothe any discomfort. Low milk supply. If you feel like your milk supply is low, it's important to remember that breastfeeding is a supply and demand process. The more your baby feeds, the more milk your body will produce. You can also try pumping between feedings to help increase your milk supply. Engorgement. Engorgement occurs when your breasts become overly full and swollen with milk. This can be uncomfortable and make it difficult for your baby to latch on. To alleviate engorgement, try expressing some milk by hand or using a breast pump. You can also apply a warm compress to your breasts before feedings to help stimulate milk flow. Mastitis. Mastitis is a breast infection that can occur when milk ducts become blocked or infected. Symptoms include fever, chills, and a painful, swollen breast. If you suspect you have mastitis, contact your healthcare provider right away. Treatment may include antibiotics and rest. Breastfeeding can be a wonderful and rewarding experience for moms and their newborn babies. While it may come with some challenges, it's important to remember that with patience and practice, you can overcome these challenges and enjoy a happy and healthy breastfeeding journey. Don't hesitate to reach out to a lactation consultant or your healthcare provider if you have any questions or concerns. Remember, Breastfeeding is a learning process for both you and your baby. Don't be afraid to try different techniques and positions to find what works best for you both. And if you're experiencing any pain or discomfort, reach out to a lactation consultant or your healthcare provider for support. Thank you for watching, and we wish you all the best in your breastfeeding journey. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.